Hey yo, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up your custom sending domain with Klaviyo. Custom sending domain allows you to send emails that appear from your brand and allows you to have a better overall control of your sending reputation. Any company is eligible to do this. By default, you will be sharing IPs with other brands that are sending emails. When you share the same IP with other brands, if the other brands are sending spam emails, they get reported for spam, it will affect your deliverability score as well. So that's one of the most important reasons why you need to set up your custom sending domain. And in this video, I'll show you how to do it. So here we are in my computer guys, and I'm gonna show you how you can set up your custom sending domain. And as you can see, if you use Klaviyo, it's gonna say starting February 1st, Google and Yahoo will enforce new email sender requirements. And you can learn more about how to prepare. And if you click here, it's gonna show you how to do your custom sending domain. So to set up your custom sending domain, you're gonna go to your profile here. You're gonna go to settings. You're gonna go to email. You're gonna go to domains. And you're gonna see here, sending domain. Add your own branded sending domain to improve your email deliverability. By default, emails use Klaviyo domain. Connect your own sending domain to replace Klaviyo's domain. You're gonna click add. There's three steps that you need to complete to add your branded sending domain. And this is the first one. You need to add your root domain. So for example, if your domain is gymshark.com, you need to add it here. Sending domain. This is the subdomain that will be used to send emails from Klaviyo. I usually leave it just a send, so it's gonna be sent.gymshark.com. And then here, you can preview how the email is gonna look. Next, we have routing. Now you need to choose, is it gonna be dynamic or static? Depending on your domain provider, you need to choose one of those. Now, it's not gonna harm you if you choose dynamic and later on you change it to static, so let's go with dynamic. You're gonna click next. Here, you're gonna choose your DNS provider, so your domain provider. We have GoDaddy, Google Domains, HostGates, Hoover, Namecheap, Squarespace, Amazon Web Services, Cloudflare, and other. If you bought your domain from Shopify, you need to select other. If you're using any of these here, you need to select those. For this client specifically, we are using Shopify. So we're gonna go to other and we're gonna click next. Now here you have your DNS records that you need to set up. Now it might look a little bit scary, but don't worry, it's very easy to set up. So there's the record type, there's the host, and there's the value. Now, NS is a name server. So if you go to your Shopify, you're gonna go to domains, you're gonna click on your domain, you're gonna click on domain settings, and you're gonna click on edit DNS settings. What you need to do here is click add custom records. And as you can see here, when your domain is bought from Shopify, they don't have the name server to be added here. So you're gonna go back to Klaviyo, you're gonna click back, you're gonna click back again, and here you're gonna go with static because not all providers will offer name server. And if, you, if your domain provider doesn't have name servers, you need to click on static, click next, select DNS option. Again, you have the same options here. We're gonna select other because we're using Shopify. We're gonna click next. And then here, you can see that the name server has changed to CNAME. If we go back to Shopify, you're gonna have, you're gonna see that we have CNAME records. What you're gonna do is gonna click add custom record, CNAME. Here on the name, you need to add host. So this column right here. And you're gonna start with the first one. You copy it, you paste it, then you go to points two, you copy value and you paste it. You click confirm, you add a new record and you add all four records. The first three are CNAME and the last one is TXT record. Once you've done it, you need to click verify records. If the records have been verified correctly, those icons will change to a green check mark. After all four are done, you're gonna click save and that's it. One thing to remember, after you set up your custom sending domain, for the next two to four weeks, it's very, very important to send your emails to only your engaged list. Because your engaged list is obviously the most engaged list, so that means people will open and engage with emails. This will help Klaviyo and your domain to stabilize all of the DNS records so your emails don't go to spam. After the four weeks, you can start sending to your entire list or to whoever you want. But again, it's very, very important for the first two to four weeks to send emails to only 
your engaged list. And yeah, that's about it, guys. Thank you for your time. If you got value out of this video, like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.